Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf and it's so great to have you guys back over here as we check out another DLC tier list video. It's been about a year since we did the last one, 10 months exactly, and we got four really awesome new DLC packs that we really can throw into the mix of all of this. So I just want to jump in here after seeing the ladies video. She made this tier list. Big shout out to her for that. Really awesome creator. I'm sure you guys are already subscribed to her. I'm sure there's a big overlap right there, but please go check her out if you haven't yet. Uh, but without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this today. And I do apologize. I'm kind of talking over me doing this uh because my audio got corrupted so we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with it we're gonna go in kind of like chronological order so we're gonna start off with the earliest dlcs then work our way up through the years up until the grasslands dlc that we got recently so first on the list let's talk about the arctic pack arctic pack was released kind of like a couple months right after planet zoo released and it gave us the reindeer the doll sheep the arctic wolf and the polar bear uh, really awesome animals, except we didn't get an exhibit animal. Um, it's very weird to have that, especially when there could have been some very unique animals that we could have gotten in the Arctic pack. I honestly don't think that this pack holds up any much more well to this day. Um, I think it's very much a pack that if you're not really gunning for like polar bears or reindeer, uh, I would honestly just skip this pack. Um, or at least get it when it's on sale. I'll be changing one of these columns to say that in a little bit. But it's definitely one of those packs where you definitely should get it on sale. Uh, because it's always great to have some of these pieces in here. They're just always just those one or two pieces in each pack that really help make it kind of like stand on its own. And in Arctic Pack's case, it's some really good wood beams and fakashas not fakashas i got bread on my mind but you guys know what i'm saying it's some really really awesome pieces that are stuck in the middle of this otherwise kind of boring pack um the polar bears themselves look okay the reindeer themselves look okay like the doll sheep looks pretty good the doll sheep is honestly like the best looking animal in this pack and it's also one of my favorites because well i love my caprids uh but i also i'm not really the biggest fan of how the arctic wolf looks and usually when we kind of talk about dlc discourse people are kind of displeased with the amount of canines that we get in planet zoo this easily could have been the pack where we got the arctic fox and we could have subbed out the arctic fox in the north america pack for something else i really don't know uh but this is we can't change the past we can only f focus on the future and change the future i guess uh but overall i think arctic pack really isn't as strong as the other packs it's probably one of the weaker ones um but at the end of the day i'm still kind of happy that we have it to begin with always happy with like an emphasis on the arctic scene especially considering you know cold weather animals are some of the coolest out there despite being some of the least biodiverse animals out there uh just really solid choices to begin with um but yeah that's really it i don't know what else leaf is talking about over here <laughs> but that's pretty much my opinion over there i also forgot about the deluxe edition but we'll talk about that in a little bit um but yeah arctic pack if you guys haven't gotten it yet i really do suggest you guys checking out a sale um usually on steam the packs go on sale relatively often uh, especially Arctic Pack. I actually want to check that out, especially since I'm not recording right now. Well, I'm not really recording my screen right now, so I actually get to check this stuff out. Uh, so if I check this out, Planet Zoo, Arctic Pack. Yeah, it's $5 right now. If you have 5 bucks to spare, I would honestly go for it. But moving on from there, we also have the Deluxe Edition. Just a very solid add-on for Planet Zoo. Uh, while you did get the beta way back in the day... Uh, it was absolutely worth it for that. It was absolutely worth it just to be able to get on the ground floor and play this game early. But for the Pygmy Hippo and the, um, what's the other one? Komodo Dragon alone, both extremely common zoo animals. I would honestly recommend it. They're both really fun to build for. They're both very iconic in zoos and very important for conservation as well. The Thompson's Gazelle is also pretty good. It's not really the best animal out there, but it's still fine. Uh, South America, moving on to here. I honestly love South America pack. I think it's very good. For what animals we get, the Capuchin Monkey, the Red-Eyed Tree Frog, the Jaguar, um, 
We also get the giant anteater, and I believe the llama, which would technically be the second domesticated animal, or the third one. Uh, the first one would technically be the Bactrian camel, because those are the only kinds found in zoos, even though that really hasn't stopped playing in zoo before. Um, and the reindeer in the Arctic pack, if you want to use it in that kind of perspective. Uh, South America pack still continues to be this today, like, one of the more solid packs, in my opinion. I would not say it's great. I kind of threw it up there, just to kind of throw it up there. But I think I knock it down to like high good tier, uh, which I do change to very good tier because I'm very, very optimistic like that. Uh, but for building pieces, we get some of the best plants in the game. We just get a very solid mix of South American foliage, and we also get those handy dandy bamboo pieces. Now, while I would appreciate a lot more thinner bamboo planks and stuff like that for an actual wall set, uh, I still think that this pack, nonetheless, is very good for, well, kind of what we get. So, that's really it right over there. And I think that is pretty good for, Ar uh, not Arctic pack, but South America right there. Uh, still just holds up to this day to be a very good pack. It's pretty much always on sale, just the same with Arctic pack. Uh, so if you guys don't have it yet, I really do suggest you guys go try it out because it's just so filled to the brim with such really awesome animals and especially considering South American animals are great. Australia pack. I have some very choice opinions on this. I think personally, after getting such really wonderful animal packs, Australia should have been what I believe to be an animal pack. I think there are just so many wonderful animals in Australia that it really makes so much more sense for it to be an animal pack. However, the Australia pack that we did get was pretty good. We got a lot of useful building pieces. Now, while I wouldn't say they're as useful as the South America pack, um, we still ended up getting like some recolorable rods. We got some very good metal pieces, but still it's very stylized. There I am changing the tier names. It's still very stylized for a specific Australian section. If you're going for something along the lines of like San Diego kind of style, if you're going for something along the lines of come kind of like something like that, uh, you're going to get a lot more defunct quote-unquote Mad Max looking scenery pieces, which I think is good in its own right, but I still think that we should have gotten some, you know, just a little bit more, a lot more culturally sensitive stuff. Uh, we did get some, which were by Aboriginal artists. You can find those when you type in canvas in the game, uh, as well as the painted rocks and stuff like that. Really awesome pieces, but I feel like the animal choices in here are pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we still don't have a Tasmanian Devil or anything like that. The Koala, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Koala, uh, because specifically, it doesn't really look like a real Koala. And that's really a big point of contention about all these packs, kind of early on, uh, up until when we hit, like, North America, Southeast Asia area. Um, the animal quality, you can just tell there was a shift somewhere around here. Of course, Australia has a cassowary, so that's still pretty damn good. Um, but still, regardless, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Um, and this is coming from a big Australia fan. I mean, you guys know the Outback Pack. <laughs> I'm very proud of that over there, and I just really do appreciate it. Aquatic Pack. Okay, let's get back into this game. So, Aquatic Pack is a pack that everyone thought was the best thing since sliced bread. Everyone loved the Aquatic Pack. Uh, but as time goes on, it's kind of rearing its head to show that all the other packs can really do it better and provide so much more. For penguins, instead of the king penguin, we could get the African penguin, which admittedly is a lot more common in zoos, in the Africa pack. And with the Africa pack, you also get meerkats and rhinos with the seal. Instead, you can get the sea lion in the North America pack, which really has like some of the best damn animals in the game. It's still one of my favorite packs out there. Um, but I don't know. I just really have some choice opinions about aquatic. I am in no means saying that it's a bad pack because it's still very good. The faux rocks and faux trees absolutely carry this pack. Those are game changers right there, and they are absolutely necessary to building realistic zoos in Planet Zoo. And please keep in mind, this is coming from the perspective of me, who is mostly a builder uh, and cares about the animals, as well as animal rigs and how well animals look to begin with. Uh, so that's really my choice opinions right there. 
uh, but I still really do enjoy Aquatic Pack at the end of the day. Really, really solid memories with the pack, especially with the Giant Otter. I'm so happy that we got that. But again, the Giant Otter. We got the Asian Small Clawed Otter, which is more common in the Wetlands Pack. But still moving on from there, Southeast Asia Animal Pack. While it did strike a bit of controversy way earlier in the day, uh, but... I honestly think I've come around to it, specifically if you're looking for a unique Southeast Asian experience. One second while I switch over. But yes, going back to my point, we got a lot of very unique animals, but it only really makes sense for unique sections. Um, so obviously if you're making like an Asian section or specifically a Southeast Asian section, these animals would be perfect for you. Um, but if you're not doing anything like that, then what, why do you need the Babarusa there, you know? Um, but still regardless, I have come around to this pack. Uh, we don't really get a lot of scenery in it because obviously it was our first animal pack. Uh, so we got a lot of really good quality animals, sans, uh, Malay and tape here. Uh, but we get a really good assortment of those kinds of animals I wouldn't say it's very good. I would still say it's good and just a little bit of a step above Australia because I do have a fondness for many of those animals in Southeast Asia. Um, I don't really have any true complaints for anything in this pack, uh, but it's still a very good one that I think you guys should get. I, I'm going to make a special clause over here. Only get it if it's on sale, but it's still, like I would say, in between good and very good. But... I don't think you should really go out of your way to get this pack unless if you really love these animals in here. Uh, I know it sounds very counterintuitive to throw it only if it's on sale, but I still think it's very important to have. Same if you want to go for Arctic animals. I know a lot of people out there tend to really only build in tropical or um, kind of like desert zoos, so you really wouldn't need a polar bear. Uh, but if you really want to get them, by all means, you could go for it. So moving on from Southeast Asia, we were given the Africa pack. That was a really fun time. Uh, so the Africa pack graced us with meerkats, which worked really well. It's by far the smallest animal that we were able to get in these packs so far. And it was just very much a shock to everyone how well the meerkats actually worked. Uh, meerkats obviously would be the smallest animal at this point, so it's just very interesting. We also got the African penguin, which was a very big surprise. Again, another stakehold over the uh, aquatic pack. Uh, and we also got the southern white rhino, which is a very good animal. Our first DLC rhino. Hopefully we could get the black rhino too relatively soon. Please, no Sumatran rhino. Frontier, if you're listening to this, please, no Sumatran rhino. Or Javan, that would just be a kick in the nuts right there but the africa pack i would say is going to be one of our first great packs i really come around to a lot of the pieces uh while most of them are kind of stylized for that kind of like north african kind of zoo which is very iconic given the fact that most of these animals are from southern africa um uh it's just a very solid pack to begin with with a whole bunch of very versatile and useful pieces especially the plaster comes in very handy whenever you're trying to make exhibits and stuff like that as well as all those small details that you really want to help flush out your zoo really solid pack but nowhere near as solid as the north american animal pack north american animals are some of my favorites out there i have a really big fondness for my native wildlife um, and a really big appreciation for them, too. We got really awesome animals in here. We got the moose, which is a beautiful, beautiful model. Uh, but most importantly, we get a lot of smaller animals in here, too. Uh, the meerkats work so well that they gave us beavers, prairie dogs, and a whole bunch of other animals. But most importantly, sea lions. They work really well in-game albeit their hitboxes may be a little bit too jank, and maybe I don't really like how chubby those males are in-game, but still really awesome, solid animal picks, and really awesome animals that worked super well together. I'm really happy with the direction of the signage in this pack. I know not everyone liked the cartoony vibe of those signs, but I really found it super charming. I thought they worked super well for Sugar Pine Zoo, and yeah, I'm just very happy with the North America animal pack. It's just a really good one. Moving on from there, though, we have the Europe pack, and honestly, it's a step above Africa, but I will kind of knock it down to very good, um, because European animals, they really aren't the most common things in the world, 
uh, a lot of the times. People do complain about this pack. People really don't know why we got a European pack. And honestly, I hate to say it, but I really do want more European animals, specifically the chamois, or probably even, I've come around to the Wyson. I think it's just a really cool animal to begin with, even though it is just a smaller bison. But still, I really do like European pack because of all the scenery, because of all those wonderful pieces that we got, because of all those memories I have associated with the pack. It's just a really solid animal pack over there. And it's just super awesome. We got the badger. We got the lynx. We got the, um, I'm drawing a blank over here because I forget half the animals. But still, it's just a really, really wonderful pack. Super happy with that. Fallow deer are very common in both accredited zoos across the world as well as unaccredited zoos. So if you're going for a little bit of a lower budget zoo, you'll definitely have fallow deer in there. And it was our first real deer uh, in the game. I don't really count the reindeer in there because they're not really walk through and when you get deer I would pretty much expect them to be walk through but regardless I really do like Europe pack I'm gonna knock it a peg below South America though just because South American animals are just a lot more realistic to have in zoos than um, you know your typical European animal so I'm just gonna throw that right there now moving on from there we entered the wonderful year of 2022 we got some really awesome animals in here, and we're going to start off with the Wetlands Animal Pack. Again, I'm going to throw that above Africa Pack. Extremely solid lineup of animals. Uh, even though sometimes I don't necessarily agree with putting in the rarer of the rare animals in the game. In the game. Sorry. Uh, Platypus was still a very welcome addition. It's super awesome that we were really that we were able to get them. Uh, and we just got some really solid animals across the board. Uh, capybaras are especially wonderful, especially because they're so prevalent in zoos now that it just makes sense to include them. Uh, and just all the animals in here. The Nile Lekwe especially is really good. The uh, water buffalo, even though I believe it should have been the domestic version, is still a beautiful model and it's really helped cow mods come a long way. And it's just really wonderful pack across the board, very happy with it. With some very good uh, foliage and small props along the way. We got this really nice watercolor style for the signs that I'm just super happy with it. Very solid pack right there. Now moving on from there, we also have the Grasslands Animal Pack. I'm gonna throw this one a step uh, below your, uh, at no, mm, it's gonna be very good. <laughs> I, I've come along to this pack, uh, especially as of late. Um, I just really do like this pack specifically because of all the new foliage that we got in there, specifically because of all the wonderful animal choices. Uh, even though I don't really like to build for hoofstock, we got two very awesome hoofstock options in here. We got the um, Scimitar Horned Oryx, and we also got the Shavalsky's Wild Horse, both very awesome and very uh, special conservation stories. And we also got the huge variety of props, easily some of the best props that we've gotten in the game so far. In fact, I'm going to replace that with the Africa pack over here, just because it's just so iconic. But regardless, moving on from there, we enter the realm of controversy, uh, Twilight pack. Many people would say skip it. Uh, many people would say these animals aren't common in zoos. Many people would say the scenery is too themed. I am personally donning my number one Twilight Pack Defender cap and saying that this pack is so much better than people give it credit for. We got some really wonderful new pieces in here, specifically a really good wall set, really good stone, really good wood, and really good, just solid, useful, tiny props along the way. Uh, I would even say it is, you know, I would say it's on the lower tier of very good, kind of like teetering on good. I think we got some very awesome pieces in here. I think we got some very awesome animals in here, specifically the common wombat is just like the cutest damn thing in the world. Uh, but I've seen all these animals in zoos. I've seen a lot of these animals in zoos, a lot of raccoons, especially in either native wildlife areas or um, like rehab areas and stuff like that, or even in big name zoos. They're very common over there in Europe, and they're also very common down in Florida, specifically because of Florida exhibits. Uh, you'll hear a lot more about that in my actual Zoo Sarasota series. Go check that out, by the way. Oh my God, first episode just went live. 
today as I'm recording this. <laughs> um, but no, it's just a very awesome pack that, you know, people look at the gargoyles and the mushrooms and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so stylized. It's so awful. But we got the stalactite rocks, which you guys probably watch Caesar Creates. You guys have seen just how drop dead gorgeous his builds are because of this pack. It's insane to see. Uh, you guys probably understand that I love building a lot more ornate things with like tiny pieces and stuff like that. A lot of these like, um, like the small wood pieces and stuff like that come very handy for that. I just really like Twilight. I feel like people give it too much crap. And because of that, I'll just make this like a community kind of thing. I'll bump it down to good. Uh, but still, I would very much rate it around Africa pack specifically because of how much I use those pieces. And last but not least, we end up with the Grasslands Animal Pack. Again, very solid lineup of species, very common in Zeus, a la um, main Wolves are very common. A lot of these are very common, except for the Nine Banded Armadillo, which ironically is the kind of like face of the pack. But even then, it's still kind of common over there in Europe and the Southwest United States. I think this pack very much deserves very good status over here. And that alone. Um, we got the butterflies too, which, okay, okay, Twilight. We have the bats. I kind of want to throw this up here to very good, but because they aren't kind of like free form, kind of like the butterflies, um, I'm just going to knock it back down. <laughs> but the butterflies in Twilight, not Twilight, Grasslands work super good. Um, and yeah, just everything in Twilight, Grasslands. Oh my gosh, I get these two confused. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of that little pink back there. I don't know. But again, very solid animal choices and very good scenery in here as well, as well as some very good plants. Uh, we only got three different kinds of plants, but I've been using them all throughout my zoos. Uh, but overall, I would say this is my Planet Zoo tier list. Again, very huge shout out to Delay Designer for even providing this list in the first place. Go check out her channel, even though I am fairly certain all of you by like crossover would be subscribed to her she's been a wonderful supporter of the channel for uh, uh, a couple of years now i guess um and she's just absolutely fabulous so please go check her out thank you all so much for stopping by i hope you guys are able to you know let me know where i went wrong with this especially the twilight i bet some people would say skip it but i really don't believe that uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. You guys are always the best. Let me know where you would rank everything in the comments down below. Uh, 1 to 12 or 13, I guess, since we have the deluxe edition. But thank you all so much for stopping by. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.